the monsoon is here. The rain falls from the sky, constant and heavy, drowning the sounds of this city. No barking dogs, no laughter. Everyone locked away in their own little worlds. I wake up to the rumble of thunder, knowing full well that today is going to be the same as yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before that. Just another wasted notch on my rap sheet before I hit the expiration date. Seems like I can feel my body age with every passing second, with every minute, with every hour. I'm getting old. becoming harder to put on a brave face for the kids. The kids. It's a good thing they're here. They keep us laughing. Wonder how they're gonna remember their time of pandemic. Is it all going to be gray skies and loneliness for them? Or is it going to fade, washed away by all the colors of their youth? I'm keeping busy with work. 10, 12, 14 hour days. I'm reaching out, trying to connect. We keep reminding each other that we are all in this together, man. That all of it will be over soon. Most of it is us pretending everything's okay. But we know it's not. And as soon as we... Dude, seriously, you gotta stop with the bitching and whining because you are boring every single one of our viewers right now. Yeah, hold on. It's been super hard. I'm sorry. I know it's tough. This is tough love, but get out of the shave, put on some clothes. We're stepping out. You can't get out. This is circuit break. Circuit break is over, man. It's been over for days. Now, come on. Let's get out. Cheers. Hey, what up? Do you mean to say that I was sitting here for no apparent reason? And just like that, 12 and a half weeks have gone by and we are moving on with Circuit Breaker Phase 2, which means that Singapore can start to safely reopen again. Hawker centers, shopping malls, businesses, everything is slowly reopening, albeit with very strict social distancing rules. Rules that the police won't hesitate to enforce, by the way. Even going as far as deploying Boston Dynamics Cyber Dog to patrol the parks around here. You know how I feel about tech, right? So I actually went out and hunt for that dog at Lakeside Garden a couple times. There you are. Look at those legs. Come back, my love. I just think robots are cool, man. And I'm figuring out if they're gonna become our overlords at some point. Being this cyber dog's best friend could be our salvation, right? I can handle things, I'm smart! 12 seconds later. Speaking of Lakeside Garden, this was our number one destination as soon as the kids could get out. Had to work on the tan a little bit, but man, a little session of swings. The butterflies were out, sitting in the hammock for a bit. I've never been so glad to get my feet wet walking in the wet grass as I was running around with the kids, picking them up. Add to that a bunch of birds eating snails and it makes for a great day out. And we're also spending every waking hour that we can in the pool with the kids, teaching them how to swim. And in just the past few days, Ariel is now able to swim at the bottom of the pool. No floating device, no nothing. Staring at this aquamarine pool during confinement was by far the worst part. And now, Leo is having fun, 
Joyce is no longer sweating bullets, and we're having fun in paradise. The coolest thing right now is that weekends mean exploration time, baby! Every morning we check the weather, and if it's sunny outside, we'll take the MRT, we'll take a grab, and we'll move around. We'll just pick a spot on the map we've never been before, and we're gonna go look around the whole day. The kids can run around, Tiong Baru, Little India, Arab Street, and we can play tourist for a bit. And after living for six months in Asia, mostly between four walls, it finally starts to feel like we are living in Asia. The smell of durian fruit, new sights, absolutely stellar street food, even Ariel approves, giant merlions, spitting cobras playing in the water, and cyber dogs. You know, Asia. Needless to say though, we are being extremely careful because this pandemic is not over. It's not over in Singapore, it's not over anywhere in the world. Now, New Zealand is in pretty good shape, Australia is up and down, the US is just in shambles. What are you guys doing over there? I can't breathe! You can't breathe in a surgical mask, but you can breathe under a KKK hood. Who made this goddamn shit? Well, there's wife. You make your own goddamn mask. So how does Singapore compare? First of all, the government was ready before this thing ever got here. Singapore got hit pretty hard with SARS uh, 20 years ago, right? So the government said, ah, ah, never again. Teams were deployed, hospitals got ready, masks were available for anybody who needed one. And as soon as the numbers started to go up, they clamped that shit down tight. If you're caught without a mask, you get a fine, you go to prison, and if you're a foreigner, your ass is kicked out of Singapore forever. So you wear your mask. Wear a mask, wash your hands, social distance. If you can't do that, I don't have much respect. One other thing that I don't think would be palatable to anybody in North America, but works very well here, is that the government has this app called SingPass, and it's an app that people generally use for their taxes and whatnot. So most people have it already, and they added a widget on there where you can scan QR codes and they issued QR codes for every single address in Singapore. You go to the 7-Eleven, you go to the MRT station, you go to the bathroom at some dumb hawker center, and there's a QR code there. You scan it, you check in, and that will also upload all of that data saying you were there at that time, at that area, and it can trace where you've been before and where you're going after, and that way, contact tracing is super tight. You've turned every cell phone in Gotham into a microphone. And a high frequency generator receiver. On average, for the past few days, there's been 10 to 12 new cases that are unlinked to anything. So those are called community case, and that's the big number that we gotta watch. Because the idea is, if this number goes down for a number of days, weeks, this is when we move into phase three, and eventually back to normal, but if this number keeps climbing, and it's been climbing, you know, one or two people a day for the past few weeks, so it's trending up, at some point, they're probably gonna reinforce the lockdown for an additional three, four, six weeks. No! If it does, I will not kill myself. Rest easy. And we are done for this video. Now is the time for you to click away, but before you do, please consider pressing that like button, it helps a lot. If you are not subscribed and want to follow our shenanigans as this thing either reopens or recloses, please consider subscribing. Every sub helps, man. If you guys have questions, comments, requests, just type them in the comments below. I swear I'll get back to you on it. Okay, bye-bye. Be kind, be well, stay safe, people. Click away now. It's over. It's done. Nothing clever is going to come out.